Hello everyone and welcome to another Star Wars Battlefront 2 news video. Today I'm going to be talking about the special weapons you get by pre-ordering the deluxe edition of Star Wars Battlefront 2. I was very curious about these weapons since they all had very interesting names, so I did some digging <coughs> Google, and found some basic information about these blasters. But before we get started, make sure you're subscribed to this channel and tick the bell icon to make sure you actually get notified of when we post new videos rather than when YouTube decides to tell you. Okay, so first of all, let's look at the Elite Officer Upgrade Pack. You will get access to the Blurg 1120 Blast Up with an Enhanced Grip Modification and the Battle Command Epic Ability. Now, at this current time, I do not know what the Battle Command Epic Ability is, but when I get more info on that, I will talk about it here on the channel. But the Blurg, however, is a pistol used by a character you may be familiar with if you watch the animated show Star Wars Rebels. Yes, that's right, the Blurg is Hera's pistol, and it will be used by officers during battle operations in Star Wars Battlefront 2. Now, I'm not surprised that the officers will be getting this weapon, as chances are you will not be very heavily armed if you choose to play as an officer in Battlefront 2, but it looks quite cool, so I'm not mad about that. Next up is the Heavy Metal Upgrade Pack. It states that you'll be taking on the toughest enemies with the FW MB10 Mega Blaster, with a barrel vent modification and the Personal Shield Epic Ability. Now, I don't think I need to explain what the Personal Shield is, as, as it's in the current battlefront, and we all love it. But what I'm wondering is if you can now shoot out of the shield like the Droidicas can in the old Star Wars Battlefront 2. But the Mega Blaster, however, is extremely cool. It's a mounted LMG, and it was used by the First Order during the Force Awakens era, and it looks like you'll be able to tear some stuff up with that bad boy. Next up is the Armored Assault Upgrade Pack. In this pack, you'll get early access to the CR2 with a trigger modification and a grenade epic ability. I'm not even going to go into what the grenade epic ability is. We all know what a grenade is but the CR2 is a machine pistol looking thing that looks a bit similar to the EE4 from the current Battlefront and I, I really hope it doesn't play how the EE4 does. But it looks like a close quarters powerhouse of a pistol, so if you're in a tight spot, that pistol is going to be your best friend. Last, but definitely not least, we have the Master Specialist Upgrade Pack. You will get immediate access to the A280 CFE Blaster Rifle with a scope modification and the Laser Trip Mine Epic Ability. Again, the Epic Ability, we all know what the Laser Trip Mine is, but the A280 CFE is a modified version of the standard A280 we all know and love, but it's been turned into a sharp shooting monster and I think it's going to be really fun to snipe people with that thing. Now all of those guns were from varying eras in the Star Wars universe, so I'm wondering whether you can use all those guns in different eras or if they're, you know, error locked. So if you want to use the Mega Blaster, you'll only be able to use it in First Order era situations, or if you can use them back in like prequel sort of errors. I'm hoping they will give you a little bit of flexibility with that, but We'll see when the game comes out or when we get closer to release, when we actually see gameplay, we'll probably get an idea as to how this game is going to run with that sort of idea in mind. I'm assuming at the moment it's going to be just like regioned down to like, you know, whatever era you're playing in. But either way, that's not a big deal because it looks like you can pretty much get like varying errors with these pre-order weapons. I mean, the A280 CFE is a Rogue One thing. The Blurg was used sort of around after the Clone Wars ended and before the events of A New Hope. So it's set during like the original trilogy sort of time era. And then you've also got the Mega Blaster and that was obviously First Order. But the CR2, I don't really know. I have no idea what time that is from, but it looks cool. That's what matters. So those were all the guns you get in the pre-order of the deluxe edition of Star Wars Battlefront 2. If you find this video at all interesting, please give us a thumbs up to show support. Remember to subscribe for regular Star Wars Battlefront 2 news and I will see you very soon.